Hello, hello. I am here with a super fun project. I'm really excited to put this one together. Um, it is, I guess I should tell you, it's linked down below if you're interested in buying it. It is also the gold project that's included if you're a gold subscriber to the subscription kit that's linked below. Um, and it is for the month of April. So I used some of these fun pieces from the March kit to actually create this fun project. And even if you don't wanna use this, you can still make the folio using these same supplies. So I wanted to start out with showing you how to put this together. Now, these are invitation envelopes. So I'm going to give you the measurements. These ones are five and almost three quarters by four and one, two, three eighths inches. That's, I guess, the standard size for invitation size envelopes. I looked up several and this one came back over and over again. So you need four of these, and don't worry if the tops and this is a little bit different on yours. Um, but you're gonna need four to put this together. And you can obviously do this in several ways, um, but this is the way that we are going to do it. So let's go ahead and get started on putting this together. So I tried to number everything because I always get confused as to how it comes together. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take an envelope like this with the opening here and an envelope like this that the opening is in the back. We're gonna stick this in here and we're gonna glue that in place. Now this can get a little bit exciting because you're gluing um, while you're trying to stuff it in. So it's a little bit tricky because it's a tight space. So just work at it, be patient, and you will get it. So let's go ahead and put that first one into this first envelope. I wouldn't use, um, Oh, art glitter glue, because it's gonna just be too fast. So if you stick that in there, let's see if we did all right. That looks pretty good. Kind of making sure everything's lined up. Awesome. Okay, and now, let's see. I guess technically it's, I'm trying to remember, remember. All right, this one's next. So again, the same pattern, the opening is here and this is the closed side and I'm gonna put this flap in here. This time, oh, I guess I did it on this one too. Um, we'll do it the same way, but just a heads up. You can glue here and it will just shut that if you don't wanna use it. And we're gonna use some of them and we're gonna not use others. So this one we're not actually going to be using. So, so I'm okay if I do it on the other side. So if I glue along here and on the back, that's going to be okay. But I wanna make sure that I'm not sealing off anything I want to use later. And I'm not, so that'll be good. So I'm gluing the inside of this flap and I can always come by and do some art glitter glue around the other opening if I decide I just don't wanna use that opening. I'm trying to stay in camera, but maneuvering that is really exciting. Now, if you have different shape flaps on yours, don't worry it will work out just fine. And you might notice with mine, they're a little not perfectly lined up. That's okay. It's very forgiving. All right, and now, thinking, 
see where it goes. I can't remember where my last spot goes. Well, we can put it here. We can do this, but we'll just want to come We'll want to come in here and ink this. I've inked all the envelopes. I should have told you that. I inked all the envelopes first just because it's easier before everything's glued down. So just a quick ink. And this is going to go right here. This one I am going to be using that pocket, so I want that to remain open. So I'm definitely only going to glue right here to glue that one shut. And that will keep that pocket there available and this pocket here available. And that is going to be the entire book. All right, so hang with me. Let's glue this last one in. Remember, we're gluing along the back for this one. So really just be aware of what you're gluing down and try it out first, making sure that you're not gluing something that you're going to want to be using later. It is a little bit confusing. I think it'll be easier if I turn this over. Maybe, maybe not. And a little bit tricky. <laughs> oh, the FedEx truck just drove by and I was hoping they weren't pulling into my driveway because I didn't want my dog to scare everyone again. Or scare me, <laughs> I should say. Oh, this is a hard one to get in. All right, I think I need to start at the top. So this is a good reality check that these are a little bit tricky to work with. But once you get them set up, you're going to have your whole album all ready to go. And you won't even need to worry about adding anything else. Nope. I'm going to try a fancy little trick that sometimes helps and that is putting a ruler on it there we go to line everything up and then sliding that ruler out let's see how that worked hey that was pretty slick all right there we go after many attempts we have our album kind of in place and ready to work with i'm gonna turn that into a pocket this one i don't need I'm not going to worry about gluing it because I've got a paper that's going to go over it. So we really don't need to. And both of these I'm going to be using for another part of the project. This is the back. This is the front. And if you want, you could wrap this around for our project. This is going to actually become um, just a kind of a decoration that we're going to attach our closure to. So some of these, if they're not closed enough, just go ahead and glue them shut. If you want, you could add a fun little bit of paper or lace to be a tiny little spine, but really these are so thin and so simple that you won't need to worry about it. Okay, let's talk about the kit. I'm going to kind of show you what I have over here. I kind of have everything laid out and ready to go. So I printed everything for this kit on a lightweight paper, just regular printer paper, except there are two pages that include all of the tags. Let me grab a tag. All of the tags and some ephemera, things like, let me find one, like one of these and some little bits and pieces like this. Those two pages I went ahead and printed on my 110 cardstock. But even the pockets for this are on a regular weight paper because it's meant to be super thin and very simple. So keep that in mind. That's how I printed mine. I've cut everything, I've inked everything. One more item of housekeeping and then we'll put this together. These papers here actually come shaped like a rectangle. That is because you're going to need to just simply put this behind and then trace it because the shape of different flaps on envelopes is different. So I couldn't give those shape. You're gonna have to do that. So you'll put it behind 
trace the envelope. You're gonna wanna center it. So that is the same as that. And then trace and then go ahead and cut it and try it on. And if you want the border to be a little wider, just cut a little bit extra off. It is not too tricky. So I did that on these and I will tell you how to do these pieces when we get there. So first of all, um, I've printed all the pages in this particular gold project and cut them out. You can rearrange where just about anything goes if you like a different combination of the pages that are available. So don't let that stop you from potentially changing things up and doing different ephemera here and there and what have you. Um, so this one has two of these, so you can do a front and a back. And there are a few, <clears throat> excuse me, extra papers and things so that you have room to kind of play with what goes where. And this I did for the inside cover. And it's kind of nice because once you get one, you can just kind of trace it onto the others and use it as a guide. So I'll show you how I did that later. I love this paper and I've just shrunk it down tiny so that it can fit for this project. Um, it kind of is such a statement piece. You really don't need anything else with it, but we're gonna add a little. And you can always add whatever you want. Really trying to get those edges. And I'm centering that on there. You'll notice there is a tiny border around the edge of the envelopes. And that is on purpose. I just like the look of it. It just gives it a really finished look. All right, now I have this really fun, <clears throat> um, I guess, label tab. Heads up, I did use my corner rounder to get these two edges. They're not normally rounded. But I did that because I wanted to turn it the other way because I'm gonna punch a hole through this and I didn't want to punch a hole through all of those beautiful words and numbers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and center that on there. I am barely covering the tip of the envelope. You'll see right there, it comes right to the edge and that is on purpose. Um, and I have this beautiful sign that just says create and that was the one I wanted to put right there on the front because I thought this would be just a fun little book about creating. Okay, cover is done. That was easy. So we're gonna really breeze through these once I get through this section, but I wanted to just explain how I do these and I'm actually gonna show one on camera, but I'm gonna explain. So your paper that you want to go on this section here, put it in your envelope, keep it up toward that seam. So you want it far up toward the top but you also want it centered from top to bottom. So there's a tiny gap here and a tiny gap here. Go ahead and grab a pencil and you are going to lightly trace that and take it out and then you're gonna cut that. Then you're gonna try it on and see if you like the spacing. If you want a little more of a gap around everything then go ahead and just trim a little more along here and here. Just whatever you need to get that kind of border that you want um, based on your envelope and your envelope size. I'm gonna scooch this over so you guys can see. So you guys can watch me glue. So I'm just going around the edge of this. I'm gonna be putting that on And I have different oh, interactive pieces and ephemera for every page of this journal. So I hope you love it. This has been such a fun project to put together. All right, I have some collage pieces I'm gonna be using. Oh, look at that. I have a book page that just came with it. Maybe I'll incorporate that. That could be fun. 
Um, this is the ephemera that's gonna be tucked in here that you're gonna be able to pull out and journal on. So that's gonna be set aside for just a minute. This is the piece that's just gonna come right in here and just be the decoration for that section. Now, if you want, you could make life a little easier for yourself and trim just a little bit off and just make sure you're not coming past that envelope. It, it will make it a little easier to glue, but you don't have to. But I'm just gonna show you that you can do that. Just a quick snip. And that way you're gonna be running into fewer, <laughs> less, I should say less glue. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. And because these are with envelopes, there's not a huge amount of, you're not really able to put a lot of thickness in these. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm keeping everything pretty thin, pretty simple, but I did want to have a fun little pullout tab right here. And I was gonna staple it, but I think I'll glue it because my stapler is out of staples and I forgot to get more. So we're gonna just glue that right there. And that's just a fun pullout tab for that um, piece of ephemera that's gonna be in there. Just something to make it a little easier to grab and pull out. All right, we have this and oh, this is my favorite book paper. So I kind of have to use it. We're gonna just make a little collage. I think I wanna ink my paper just a hair. It's got such a pretty patina cause it's from a really old brittle book. Pages are really crinkly. Let's see how I want this. And so you can add in anything that you have of your supplies if you want to get creative and add a little more. But I wanna keep it so that you can really see what's available in the kit for you to use and not overwhelm you with items that you might not have available to you. We're gonna really stick our butterfly down because like I said, this is a very thin journal. And this is just for, I think, a fun little accent to bring that green back in. If you're wondering why I'm switching to the art glitter glue, um, there is no reason. <laughs> it was just right there, so I grabbed it. So I didn't want you to worry that you needed to use one or the other, just whatever you have on hand to get that down. Okay, so that was super easy, right? Now let's see, this one's next. I'm trying to keep them in order. I have to lay it out for my sake. You can switch it up however you want. But like I said, <laughs> for my sake while I'm making these, I want it to, to make sense to you. Oh, you guys, hold on for two seconds. Just a second. I hope that was videoing. My low power mode came on. And so I apologize. I'm moving you all over the place. Here, maybe it's better now, who knows? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I really hope that was recording through all of that because I don't really keep a great eye on my camera while I'm working on my stuff. All right, so I picked this paper on purpose just because I wanted something kind of neutral next to this green right here but again whatever you like let's see oh here they are it's like where's the pocket for this one? Oh my goodness i'm losing it okay cute little green pocket this is an easy one we're just gluing around the three sides because it is this lightweight paper i mean it you're not gonna need a ton of glue. It should hold just fine. And then I have, I love this. So I just made it and included it. It was a 
a fun little piece that was included in the March kit and on another piece. So I kind of just edited it out and used it for this. Elena just did such an amazing job with this March kit. I have loved playing with it. Um, I wanted another butterfly in here. Oh, maybe I don't want two butterflies on this page. That's okay. I'm doing it. I guess I could put it on the next one. Maybe we'll ponder that. We'll keep that off to the side and decide for sure what we want to do. But we do have this cute little um, tag. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and just throw an eyelet up there. Even if I don't want to put any string in it, it'll be fun to have the little eyelet. And with this gold, I think green, or with this green, I think gold would be a really fun color of an eyelet. So that's what I'm doing. We'll put that in and we'll decide on the butterfly. Oh, it's so cute. I could just have a butterfly on every page and I'd be happy. All right, next we have this page here. Now this one, I didn't want to use this pocket. So I just have um, lots of this fun Kelly green that I'm going to go ahead and just put on top of that pocket. It will be sealed shut and no one will even know it's there. But I love this Kelly green. I wonder, I think there we go. I think that's upside up. Kind of have to be careful on these, huh? All right, for this one, we have a tiny triangle pocket. I put it on this side of the journal on purpose so that that's facing inward. Cause if it's here, it would be a little easier for that ephemera to fall out of the journal. So I put it so it's facing inward. Uh, just something to think about when you're deciding where to place things in yours. It is a big ephemera piece, so I am coming to the edge because you'll see that's a pretty good size piece. I just have a tiny bit that I wanted to put somewhere just to add a little dimension. You could do a little bit of lace along the bottom or, <laughs> or another butterfly. <laughs> Heavens knows the world could use more butterflies. I think I'm gonna just bring that clear to the edge because I love how it ties it all in and gives it that dimension. All right, next we have another one of these pockets. We have a giant tag. So first the background paper. I had a lot of fun um, creating these tags for this kit. Because it is so thin, I didn't want to have to layer a lot of things. So I actually made this so easy. This would actually be a great kid project because I did all of the layering digitally, at least a lot of it. I like to have a little bit for that dimension, but most of the layering I have done digitally. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But we have another tiny pocket. And this tag is so cute and a very big. Look how cute this is. But see, I did all the layering for you so you didn't need to come back through and mess around with anything. Um, it's all just done for you. I'm gonna go ahead and use this fun hole punch right here, trying to center that. And it just adds a little extra. Oh, do you know what? I have these tiny little bits. Maybe I will just fold that in half. Won't that be cute? These are just little bits that I have. This one isn't in the kit, but there are some like this in the kit. So you could use one of those instead. I've just used all of them somewhere else. Oh, or you could use this that I was going to use for the collage. You got options. <laughs> cute. And that will just be a fun little pull tab on the top of that. It will make it come up over the edge a little, but that's okay. All right. We have this and I just wanted to do something kind of fun, but I haven't really decided how I want this to lay. I mean, this could stick out of the journal. That would be cute. I'm going to go ahead and let it stick out of my journal because the enclosure, it won't interact with. 
if I keep it down a little lower because the enclosure should come toward the center. So we're gonna have a cute little tab sticking out of the journal, which will be darling. Now, heads up, I know I have seen someone make these envelope folders. For the life of me, I could not find it. And it was, I think, years ago that I saw it. So if any of you know, I, I would be happy to edit the description and put credit and link to that video if any of you know. So if you do, please um, feel free to comment and let me know because, and I don't even know if this is how they did it. It was so long ago, but I just know that I knew you could do this with um, envelopes. All right, so for this next one, I've already pre-cut this one. I am going to show you how to cut the other side. I just wanted to leave one undone so I could show you the whole process just because that might be a part that's a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, it's easy. Easy peasy. I'm gonna put that down. And this is fun because I mirrored these. So these two are actually the same on both sides. Um, and just kind of a mirror. Again, I'm trimming that down just to make the gluing in there a little bit easier on myself. Let's see how I'm doing on camera. I keep moving a little bit. I start with it knowing that it's centered, but then slowly I start moving things around as I add pieces, so I apologize. There's a lot going on in my brain while I'm doing this. Now I'm going to keep these close to that seam because um, I just think, well, otherwise there would be kind of that gap there and we don't need that. All right. Okay. So I have two of these exact color because I wanted, again, these to match. You don't have to. You could switch this out for another piece because they're the same size as these pieces that go in these pockets. So you can switch it all around. But these I'm gonna use as a belly band and I just wanted it to be a little bit stiffer. So I just folded it in half and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that shut to give that belly band just a little more stiffness. Just a bit. And then glue on the top, glue on the bottom. And that's coming clear over here. And I have these fun tags. I think, I think I'll just do one of these. I don't want um, thickness in this because it's going under that belly band. So I'd rather not have it be thick at all with an eyelet right there. Now I just have a few of these pieces and I just thought it would be fun on each side to create just a tiny little collage, I guess you would call that. Just something like so. Just a little bunch of cute bits. And that was just something I wanted to do to use some of these up and incorporate a little something fun on the front of this belly band. Um, I do have the butterflies, so if you wanted to save those to use them here, that would be really fun. Just trying to decide how I want this to lay. Because it's okay if one of those sticks over the edge, that's not gonna hurt anything. I think, I think I like this, which means I need to hurry and tuck that under. And I don't wanna glue the edges down because it hangs over the edge. So don't put glue all the way over or you'll glue your tag. There, that's fun. Okay, that page is done. We have this and it's our last one. Let's see, oh, here it is. Oh good, I thought I lost you. So this is, well, I kind of already traced it on there, but let me show you again, cause I did that for a sample and I had forgotten that this was actually one that I need. All right, so this is coming in here and again, I'm scooting it up toward that crease and then I'm making sure it's centered. 
So there's a little gap here and a little gap up here. I can tell I need to come down just a hair more. Might be hard for you to see that, but I can. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and trace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carefully cut that. I just tried to go a little bit darker on the new one. Cause watch out, um, some of these envelopes are slightly different from each other. Cause I traced another one and it was the wrong size. So that was kind of sad. Coming up. All right. Then I'm gonna put this on here and see if I like the spacing. And I can tell that I'm gonna to wanna to trim more along that second line right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, maybe I just accidentally jumped to the wrong line, trim that off. And then we're gonna retry that and see if we like that border spacing. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, now I have to come on in and ink that. I just cut it. All right, let's go ahead and put that in first. Super easy. <laughs> I have really enjoyed this project, I've got to say. This is a fun one and I hope you love it. And I sure hope everybody has the same size of invitation envelopes. Otherwise that would be really sad. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this in and again, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these down. That's just a gift to yourself, trust me. saw the adventure of trying to get all these envelopes to stick together. I think it's this left hand side one that gets me. I just am not very ambidextrous at all. And again, I'm scooting that really close to that seam, not over it. There is still a tiny gap. I can kind of zoom in there and show you. I still left a tiny gap, but it's really close. All right, here we go. We have belly band number two. Same thing, we're just gonna glue those two halves together for that, oh, don't stick, for that thickness. I think probably the part that takes the longest on this, besides designing, <laughs> is probably, um, oh, I wanted to trim that, um, probably, Honestly, the cutting, putting this together is actually really fast. I'm just trimming this down because I must have trimmed the other one down a bit, but I just want that to be the same size as the other one, which it didn't go all the way to the edge, but it went to the edge of the paper, not the envelope, if that makes any sense at all. All right. <laughs> didn't quite get it straight. That's okay. So we have our ephemera that's gonna go in this envelope. We have our teeny tag, which we're gonna go ahead and put a little slit in. I love that hole punch for when you don't want bulk. It just adds something fun. Um, and then we have, again, three tiny little bits to just play with. Let's see what would look good. My fingers are sticky. I mean, that's fun. Let's roll with it. That guy's the bottom. I think I should probably use this. Take that clear on over. Oof. And our last tiny bit. Cute. 
cute. And that's just for fun, just for effect. So let's see. Okay, we still need to do our enclosure. Now this, I just thought it would be really easy to just do like an eyelet. You could just tie ribbon around it, um, just tie it off. Or what I thought would just be kind of fun is to do um, an eyelet right there in the center because I want that extra support of those mini layers of paper right through there. So I'm actually going to make my hole based on the back of this so I can make sure I'm going through that and I'm centered on that. But I'm trying not to go too deep in there because I didn't want to... Oh, I did. I missed the numbers. I wanted to keep those cute numbers. <clears throat> oh, that's cute with the gold. I love it. Oh, you guys, I forgot to glue the back on. How sad. Let's do that real quick. I just wanted our statement piece again for the back. You could put a cute made for so-and-so with love or whatever. If you wanted to go ahead. Oh, <laughs> go ahead and add something fun like that. Doing the low battery again. We're running out of battery fast. Hopefully I make it through. I think we'll be fine. All right. Cute. Now I'm gonna quickly, I'm sorry I'm in your way. Oh, I hope I'm not doing something bad. I'm closing down my notification that I have a low battery. Leave me alone. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. My goodness. Oh, that green looks really dark. It's definitely more of a Kelly. Let's see if I can get it to show a little better. That's more accurate. It looks almost forest green from there. All right, last things. We're gonna cut a little twine. Again, you could do ribbon would be really fun or whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and put this through here, go ahead and wrap it around. And you can just do this and then just tuck it under there. Or you can pull one one way and one the other way and actually tie it off. You could put some cute little charms, just depending on what you wanna do, will depend on how um, long you wanna make these. You could just do a little half knot like that and tie it. And so when you untie it, you just go like that and then open it from there. But that is it. So let's give the quick walk through. Um, here's our cute journal. Here's our closure. This is just fun. You could decorate it in there if you want, but really that's just designed to be a fun little closure. Um, page one, we have our collage with our cute journaling card. Page two, we have our tag. Page three, this pocket with this cute little postcard. Then we've got our huge tag and that sticking off the edge is just a fun little touch. And then these last two pages, they just mirror each other. So we have an ephemera in each of those envelope pockets and then a tag tucked behind a belly band on each of them. And that is it. Um, that was super easy and really fun. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Anyway, I have to decide where I want to put my cute little butterfly that I took out. And there's a few other little bits and bobs, so keep that in mind as you're creating. Ugh, you guys, I'm putting it in its original place. But yeah, anyway, there's a few other little pieces included, so if you want to switch things up or use some other things, then you have a few other options available to you, and don't be afraid to try something a little different. So before my battery completely dies, I better get out of here. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and have so much fun creating with these. We'll talk to you later. Bye.